what's up y'all it's your girl Nisha and welcome back to Honey Bee Reacts so yesterday as y'all know um I posted Krishan's live and somebody in the comments asked her why she still got blue face chain on she basically said that they are for lifers he pulled up on her yesterday in way and they still messing around as y'all know previously she said she possibly could be pregnant she wants 12 kids all of that um so apparently um she's basically putting out there that they still messing around um the reason why he proposed to Jayden was because um he's hurting and that's her for lifer so the you know her fans and stuff be in the uproar when she always talk about blue face i don't know why because we know that she is definitely not completely over him. She always says that um, she still loves him. And y'all gotta think, her and Blueface um, just got done really like, when she left the house, it's only been like four months. So she's still in the phase of, you know, trying to get over him, you know, doing her or whatever. And she's pretty, um, happy with what the situation is now. She basically said, you know, she's good as long as she has her, um, she gets to keep her own money, um, and she could still get the D. So, she's okay with just getting the D right now and being able to keep her own money. Um, that is what's working for her. And she can do as she pleases and go back to him and mess around with him when she basically wants to. That's what she basically was saying. So anyway, um, Blueface did have a response, but here is some clips from his story with Javon and um, the baby girl. So yeah, we gonna watch this and then we gonna get into what Blueface had to say in reference to what Krishan said on her live about him pulling up. Hey, my daddy, that's what you want? Yeah. Okay, supersonic. Mm -hmm. Ready for school? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, daddy. 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 I had the ring and that shit was like burning a hole in my pocket. Like I showed her mom the day like before was like, Aww. what do you think? And she told me what she thought and uh, that was just more like clarification, like go through with it. But it was definitely nerve wracking. Y'all know I'm a married man. Stop playing. So this is what he had to say in response to what Krishan said about him pulling up, which he basically didn't deny it, but yeah. Ever since I got engaged, everybody trying to give me the skins. But where was you? Where was you when I had my dick in my hand without a plan? No booty cheeks, no bun yarns. Amen. Yo. So this is just a clip of him going live doing a video. It looks like uh, with a bunch of people. I don't know who they are, but yeah. Let me live on kick. Let's fucking go, bro. Let's go. We're dedicated. Dedicated. What the fuck is going on here? What is going on? So anyway, y'all, as I stated, um, Blueface, um, I always don't come with a response. So he done tweeted, that shit is cap. Come on, cuz. That's my boo girl. I'm married. Get your girl. Girl. Bro. I'm married. Get your girl, bro. So he basically saying Krishan is lying which I doubt um, 
he definitely probably pulled up on her, but and and sneaked out the house and pulled up on her real quick and smashed and then went back to Jada. Now the crazy thing is like. I mean, I've been young before, right? We all have. But these two women, Krishan and Jaden, allow him to go back and forth. And apparently there is another girl and whomever else he might be messing around with. He going around with all these girls. Y'all not thinking about y'all pH balances. I mean, y'all getting a yeast infection bacteria infections like y'all not thinking about none of that and I know it's throwing y'all shit off away but apparently they don't care as long as they can keep smashing and Jaden doesn't care because well I'm not gonna say Jaden doesn't care because I feel like now stuff is starting to get to her and um we'll get into that here in a second in the video but yeah Blueface posted it said that shit is cat come on cuz that's my booze girl, and I'm married. Get your girl, bro. Which, that's Cap. But anyway, I just feel like he's just talking out the ass right now because that's what he do. So, anyhow, um, Jaden's supposedly bestie then posted some text messages between them two, allegedly. And we're going to get into that. Wife. Think about wife. Don't give me a kiss. Don't give me a kiss. Okay. So, honestly, y'all, I think Jayden is getting sick of him. Um, and I'm going to read these text messages and then I'll explain why. So, this, these are the text messages that her so-called bestie um, posted. Now, this so-called bestie was also the same girl when Blueface asked Jaden to marry him at the game who posted that phone up, who hurried up and tried to post that phone up real quick and record them arguing. And that's how that got brought to light. Um, so, I really feel like this friend is just, like, not really her friend because you trying to post every little thing that is wrong just to get some type of clout. I don't know what she's trying to do. But she's apparently not her friend because she keeps posting um, stuff about them. So anyway, um, it looks like Jaden said, um, hey girl. And she said, what you doing? And Jaden said, here at this house, just finished the interview. And then she says, how did it go, Jaden? Jaden says it went well. And then she did the party emoji thing. And then Jaden says, Blueface gets on my nerves. And the bestie says, why you say that? She said, he's always recording me. I shouldn't have accepted that ring. And she was like, damn, why? She said, I feel like it's all for the camera. So, Jaden is noticing that Blueface always got that damn camera out. He's always trying to record her. Um, and she's like, you know, basically thinking about her decision about accepting the ring, having second thoughts from what these text messages are saying. And I, you know what I'm saying, I kind of get it. Because, like, but I feel like he been doing that, so you should already know. But I feel like she's starting to feel like, like, he's really with her just for show and probably for the money. And she just probably realizing a, a lot of things. So, then she goes to say... I love him, but deep down, I know he really needs the money, girl. So, she's basically saying, like, I know he's here really just for the money for the most part. And then her so-called bestie said, I never knew you felt this way, but you guys look so happy. And then Jaden was like, I am happy with him. The world knows that. 
but all he talks about is money. I'm starting to feel like he loves the money more than me, best friend. And then she says he thinks, I don't know, he still goes see Krishan. So, Blueface sitting up here putting on his front, putting on bullshit ass tweets out. Jaden ain't stupid. Jaden know what you're doing. Especially when you up under somebody all day, every day, you know. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, she basically is saying, like, she know he's going to go creep with Krishan on the low. And she, it feels like he is just doing all this for the camera. She knows that he really needs the money. And <laughs> I'm telling you, like, my thing is, like, Y'all putting out this music, these women, her and Krishan, y'all allow this man to just take y'all money or whatever. And true enough, like, Blueface put up a lot of money for them to get started or whatever. But he's really doing it because he needs the money. Um, I don't know. To each his own. Like, if you choose to deal with it, that's on you. But um, I feel like eventually, I don't know, Jayden might get sick of it or whatever. But I feel like at the beginning, she was just, like, happy about being with him because, you know, um, he left Krishan, well, or Krishan left. People keep saying um, Jaden, um, Krishan... I mean, Blueface kicked Jaden and the kids out the house because of Krishan. But that's not the case. Jaden said she left. So, if Jaden left, um, Blueface then kicked her and the kids out. Jaden left on her own because she found out he was messing around with Krishan. So, anyway, that's neither here or there. But both of these women obviously are going to continue to allow him to do whatever he's going to do until they actually get fed up. I feel like Krishan is definitely, you know, showing growth. But, like I said, she only has been away from him and out of a relationship with him for four months. So, it's still really, really fresh. They only broke up back in June. So, it's only been four months, probably going on five that's not enough time for... I mean, some people get over people quick. But when you really are so tired and you got all these tattoos that is men on you and you think in your head, like, this love for whatever he did for you and you got all these things conjuring up in your head about, like, oh, he did so much for me. I love him so much. It doesn't matter what he do. Like, it's not easy to break away from somebody. And, too, when y'all have kids, like, it's definitely harder, especially when you're younger. And even for older people, I see it all the time. Like, people um, who have babies by people thinking that it's going to keep them or whatever, still, like, I feel like Krishan is still holding on to some glimpse of hope. But she's still learning how to navigate not being with him fully. And also, like, all this fame that she has to figure out on her own as far as doing everything on her own. So, it's going to be a little while before she's actually over him. But I feel like eventually she will get there. But who knows? Because Blueface is a, a master manipulator. And he is master manipulating both of these girls, Krishan and Jayden. So, I, you know, I don't take sides. That's not for me to do. But I I feel like Jayden asked, um, you know, I kind of feel bad for her because, like, you got to think, they've been together for over a decade. So, really, like, that's all she knows. She basically grew up with him. And he has master manipulated with his narcissism um, her. And also his mother, too. So you got the narcissist <laughs> queen and the narcissist king who master manipulated Jayden, um, 
Carlissa always says, like, she groomed Jayden. She told her to do this and do that or whatever. Basically, to accept her son's bullshit, which is crazy. Um, but anyway, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Jayden probably feels kind of trapped now. She done signed this deal. And she's starting to really, like, realize that you know he always got the camera on her and you can see in the clip that i posted previously Jaden is uh, over him posting her she always knocks the camera out of the way when he you know try to put her on the camera and all of that so yeah let's pray so here we got miss Krishan. she is out and about living her Best motherfucking life, you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it reminds me of Joshua's co right now. Can't wait to fuck with my two friends. Let's pray. Yeah. <laughs> So, y'all see, Krishan got her new tooth, and she looks cute or whatever. Um, who knows how long she gonna keep it in, but I think, you know what I'm saying? She looks cute with her little new tooth. She happy about that tooth, baby. Um, it reminds me of Joshua's coat closet right now. Can't wait to yeah. with my tooth in. Hey, what's up? It's the big baby. I'm, I'm on my way. I'm gonna get the baby. Where you going? Oh, we're going to Birmingham. Yeah, Birmingham, yeah, Alabama. Yeah. Let's do it. So, Krishan is on her way to Birmingham, Alabama. Um, she does have a show that she has been promoting out there. Um, and then I believe she said she's going to um, do that 24 hours with Kai Sinek. And then also she has to do, um, I forgot that man's name, um, Cam Newton um after that so yeah she's outside what we doing what we doing what we doing yeah we out <laughs> so i got out the lambo car because like i had i had to let baby riches and babu what happened that bitch because my grandma pulled the fuck up what are you talking about he felt me at the gas station making tiktoks and then we got, then we got, then we got, <laughs> <laughs> then we got my other brother. <laughs> Yo, hey, brother, we right all the way, we all the way, dog. Woo -woo. Oh, I'm so happy you're here, dog. <laughs> Get that newborn pussy, make her water, what?
bitches tired. Mm-hmm. These bitches. <laughs> get up, what's up? <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about Get up, what's up? I'm gonna get food and shit. What'd you say, cutie? I ain't sad, I'm turnt. <laughs> <laughs> she ready to get up. Look at Mars, Mars. He ready to go. Hey, buddy, Mars, she be here. Bitch, I'm hungry. You hungry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm Mr. Take your bitch, take her for a trip, fly her to New York, sign my name all on her tits. <laughs> yes, I took his lady. I like blue faces, so I took it. Yeah, so honestly. I don't feel like Krishan and Blueface is going to get back together. I feel like the more experiences Krishan has with being able to collab with different people, um, her learning and owning her, you know, freedom of being single by herself, the more that she gets out here, the more that she's, you know, going to be pulling away from him. I mean, she already took the steps to do that in the first place. So, you know, definitely I see her growth. I see, I don't see them being back together. And especially with this hit song that her and my boo came out with, um, Blueface is definitely in his feelings about that. And he going to continue to be in his feelings about that. But what he's doing is like, you know, sneaking and geeking on the low with Krishan every blue moon here and there just to keep her reeled in just enough you know what I'm saying to deal with him and so I don't like I said I don't think that they will be back together um as far as Jaden I don't know if I don't believe that they are gonna make it to the altar to get married because like Within that time frame, she gonna realize a lot of shit. I feel like Blueface pr- proposed to her um, just for show and views because he needs the clout. Um, I think he's with her definitely um, for the money. Um, I definitely feel like, you know what I'm saying, she's realizing that. I don't think he don't love Jayden, but I don't think like he's really invested in her like as far as like really wanting to marry her i really don't think that but anyway y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below make sure y'all hit that like button subscribe to the channel and drop a comment down below and it takes a second to subscribe i appreciate you and i will see y'all in the next video peace